Hello, welcome to Premier Guns, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between the new and the old Benelli M2 Cerakote. So today we're going to be talking about the main differences, so we're going to start from the back and work our way up to the front. Both of these obviously have record pads, but the pads are slightly different. The one on the old M2 has the uh, that Comfortex gel system, a very, uh, very similar design to all the Benelli pads. A great pad for recoil absorption, but it can deteriorate quite quickly. And there are a lot of, the, the, after, to buy another one, they are a lot of money, um, so a lot of people tend to stick with them. The newer version of the Benelli M2 um, comes with more like a foam pad, like a Breta microcore system, uh, which is a bit more welcome really. A bit, personally, I think that's a better system having foam rather than the gel. Also, these pads also come in left and right handed. I've never known any other manufacturer to do a left and a right handed pad. The next major difference, as you can see, is in the centre of the stock. So, the older system, you could opt out of this, but the, uh, the more expensive option came with Comfortech. So, Comfortech was a recoil system designed by Benelli with these chevrons. So, meant to aid in uh, recoil uh, absorption, which it does slightly. The only thing I would say is when, if you're sort on the clay ground, it doesn't matter so much, or if you're using it for clays, but if you're going to be using it for proper wildfowling, getting it dirty, what people notice is in between the chevrons, uh, you got a lot of mud and build up, and it didn't really look very nice. Um, and it was uh, the actual cost difference was quite a lot of money to have the Comfort Tech, and a lot of people didn't really see the point. Um, this was quite a good design though, the rubber top comb. So obviously a lot of autos, you can shim them, uh, but to change, the, uh, to change the actual comb height, you're pretty much stuck. But with this system, you can actually pull that out and put in a, a medium or a higher comb, uh, which in my opinion was a great design. But as you can see on the, on the newer version, they've completely done away with the Comfortech system. A couple of reasons for that. Uh, reason one being the aforementioned negative reasons for the Comfortech, and also it's probably a cost thing really. Um, the actual benefit to cost ratio probably wasn't that worth it, um, so decided to scrap it on the uh, on the new Comfortech uh, on the new Benelli M2. So there's no way you can have the Comfortech on the old on the new M2. Pistol grip slightly changed. Uh, profile wise not at all but they've changed the check and changed the design overall really that's a bit more flat a bit more traditional this is a bit more angular a bit more angled more modern um checkering goes further back than the pistol grip now but really not a lot has changed here the shim system is still in place so again brilliant for uh changing the pitch uh comb height uh and, and the cast both of these guns come with the option with the shims in the box so you can set them up when you buy a new one easy out of the box any shop can do it we, we offer it as a service uh, gun fitting with the shim kit so the next major difference is the action this is where the biggest change has happened so mechanically nothing's changed at all so these will shoot very similar um, but the major difference is is the actual f uh, profile of the actions so the action profile on this is very blocky is a word I'd use, um, very utilitarian, not very fancy. The new uh, M2, slightly more angular, more angled, like the, like the stop uh, that I mentioned before. Um, so, yeah, just a different design cue really, it doesn't really make any difference to the shooting. Um, but I will just say, on the underside, there is actually quite a good difference. So it's more scalloped out, reason for this, easier for loading quicker loading um great design really a lot of aftermarket uh, a lot of the practical shotgun shooters tend to get that used to get that done so this is now factory sort of scalloped a couple more things to point about the action the bolt handles on these have changed slightly that one's a bit more angular that one's a bit more just straight up um it doesn't make any difference really um just a different design cue of the gun uh bolt release has slightly changed as well that was more of a button the button design on the older model could, for the most part isn't a problem, but if you're wearing big gloves, 
could uh, it could become a problem trying to push it in. So uh, Briley uh, aftermarket did um, different uh, bolt release bolt releases, uh, but on here they slightly took a cue out of let's say Briley's bolt and made a, a different bolt release, a bit more a longer, more surface area, so easy to um, press with your fingers with gloves on. So next major design cue change here, again a design change, not a mechanical change, the barrels haven't changed at all, still use the Creo system um, for the choking. Why change something that already works, especially with the M2, the M2 is sort of the workhorse of the range, so there's no, more, there's not a lot of point trying to change it too much. Ribs haven't changed at all, both come with the step rib, I like the step rib actually, on any gun. Um, I think step is a nice design, it sort of eases you into the sight picture a bit. A personal preference thing really, but I, I like the, the fact that they've kept with the step rib. Right, fore end is where the next design change has happened. So, on the old design, it's a bit shorter, chunkier, a bit more like a beaver tail fore end almost. Um, not particularly, uh, I wouldn't say not particularly attractive, um, but again, they're a utilitarian, it's a utilitarian model of the Benelli range, um, so that's why that model had that. This model they've tried to obviously change the look a bit, almost go down the, I wouldn't say the clay shooting market, but trying to appeal to a wider range of um, audiences. So this one has slightly got a beaver tail forend, but it's not as, aggr not as aggressive. Um, the, the, the checkering, well they checkering, but that sort of design isn't, it's a bit more fancier. It didn't. It didn't need to be this sort of flamboyant. But again, um, more of a modern design. But to be honest, overall, the actual feel of the new fore end is a lot better, in my opinion. Fore end cap, again, a very minor point. But the fore end cap has been changed um, for a more tactile feel, which is great because. Again, this is I'm in the utilitarian model. You're probably going to be wearing gloves, bad weather, wet, muddy. So it's got more stippling on it, easier to grip. So if you want to take it off in the field, it's easier to do so. The um, the four-mentioned design was a little bit slippery with gloves. It hasn't got any sort of stippling on it to grip. Um, but again, a very minor point, really. The last point to say, just, just, just to say about these two guns is the bead. Slightly changed. The older bead was a, a smaller design. This one's a lot more elongated. Again, doesn't really make any difference to shooting, but they both come with red. Um, you can have the option to change them out for different colours, white, um, green. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the last point really to mention on the new uh, Benelli. Obviously, like before, Benelli with their warranty is absolutely uh, mega. Both come with 10 years warranty, the older model and the new model, that hasn't changed. So buy one of these over a cheaper gun, um, a cheaper semi-auto, in my opinion, is a no-brainer. You've got a brilliant gun that's reliable, and you've also got at least 10 years of service out of it without any problems at all. So you've got, once one of these guns is purchased, that's 10 years done for you. Mechanically, as a tool, that's brilliant. I think Benelli's really hit the, uh, hit the nail on the head with the warranty side. Being Cerakoted on both of these models as well. The Cerakote is a lot better than the older sort of traditional blued finish. Um, a lot more harder wearing, easier cleaning, le oh, less rust. Again, this design for a lot of wild fouling, that sort of thing. Cerakote is a no-brainer in my opinion. Right, we're going to take both of these models out just for a little bit of a play and a bit of a shoot. Right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, just thought I would uh, would do a video on the new M2 because it's not been that well publicised. Um, but obviously, if you're on the market for a new uh, semi-automatic or uh, you know a Benelli, um, yeah, let us know. Um, we can show you the new M2. Got a couple in stock. Uh, I think personally, it'd be better to have a feel of them. Um, certainly, a lot of the changes on this are ergonomic. So this is why having a good feel of them would be an idea. Thank you for watching another video done by Premier Guns. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the, sec uh, in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, helps us out. Let us know what we're doing right and wrong. Um, yeah, any questions, just let me know. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video.